one of the basic requirements of man is food. And we cannot talk about food without talking about cooking. And we cannot talk about cooking without talking about the necessities for cooking. Today I bring you a story of collecting firewood. And this is one of the daily activities that is done at least in every home in addition to other activities that family members, especially women and children, do. Without correcting firewood, it may mean that there is no food for that day because food has got to be cooked and cooking food means that you need fire and when if you need fire then you need firewood the first thing that you've got to do when you're going to collect firewood from a forest is to get a cushion and a cushion for us we call it a nkata there are two types of nkata one is made from a banana leaf you cut it break it and then roll it into a nkata Or, if there is soft grass where you, go, you are going to, where you are going to correct the firewood, then you can use soft grass to make that cushion that you need. Another cushion just like that one. But to children, this is a joyful moment because when you go to the forest, there are so many other things that you have to enjoy. One of them is the fruits that you come across. Among the fruits that children enjoy, in the forest when they go to collect firewood are amatunguru. Amatunguru are of two types. There is katuri rataka, the one that sits on the ground, and there is kitebe, whose seat was made by God. Apart from Amatongo, there are other fruits that grow on climbing plants. The fruits are always up in the branches. But we may get a chance and get some on the ground. In many cases, these children have got to climb to the top of these trees to get these fruits in order to enjoy them. Some of these fruits include, among others, we call them amalemu or amakuba in our native languages. The amakuba or amalemu are yellowish on the outer when they ripen, and the fruit, the juicy seeds inside, are also yellowish. But there is also another fruit called nansale, 
it's like a nursery in English. But for us, we call it nursery. Nursery, for it, it is red inside. There is another fruit called amabungo. All those are wild fruits that children enjoy. Mm. It's time to collect firewood. They go looking for dry branches. Whatever they come across, they pick. The other thing that children enjoy while collecting firewood is swinging on climbing plants in the forests. After gathering firewood, you've got to tie them into a bundle. There, is, there are some strings you can pick from the forest, but if you cannot find any from the forest, there is a, what we call obuyanja. You plant them out, put them together, tie them into strings, and use them instead. Then you need someone to help you carry that firewood. You put the cushion on your head and you need someone at times if you are not alone to help you put that firewood on the head. are some of the activities that we African people do. We collect firewood from any forest. Those days we could go to private forests and collect firewood without anyone stopping us. 
but we still have communion and uh, public forests. When you collect firewood, it means that you get food to eat. If you don't collect firewood, it means you don't get anything to eat at home. I'm going to